beyond heartbreaking. This is also a growing memorial outside the Ride the Ducks headquarters. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan is there live with more on the memorial. Charlie, how are people honoring those who died? Dia and Kevin, they're placing flowers on the cars left here behind, and it's been pretty incredible to see some of those family members come back and recover those flowers, taking them off the windshield, but sure to take a picture of them before they take them off the windshield and take those cars away, tow those cars away, whatever they do. All afternoon long, person after person coming to the Ride the Ducks headquarters here, which is close for business, but the sole purpose of placing those flowers there, quite the sight. And we want to show you the video that we have seen all afternoon long of these people coming in. You know, these are the cars that presumably belonging to the people who didn't make it back from that capsized boat last night. And then about 3.15 this afternoon, a pretty powerful moment when, uh, you know, two dozen or more people joined hands in a prayer circle and prayed for those victims, their families, and of course, the survivors. I spoke to a man who's here on vacation. He said he was this close to booking a trip on the, the duck boat last night, but decided against it. To know that it ended so tragically compelled him to come here, lay some flowers down, and say a prayer. And to see the sadness, to, to know that these people come from out of town, they're visiting just like us, uh, it really was on our heart to, to want to do something. One of the pastors told me it's okay to cry, it's okay to grieve. Um, that's part of the human aspect, and so um, my eyes are a little, you know, bloodshot now. There are plenty of bloodshot eyes here in the crowd and throughout all of Branson, but the mayor who you just heard from there says this town will bounce back. She says Branson is a city of smiles. Right now it needs to cry. It needs to comfort the folks involved and impacted by this tragedy, but she said it will smile again. Live in Branson, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News.